One of former President Trump's attorneys, Jim Trustee, is joining me right now. Jim, good morning to you. Was this indictment a surprise? Morning. Uh, sadly, no. I suppose if you look at it over the long run, yes, because this is not a criminal issue under the Presidential Records Act. This whole thing is a civil dispute at the most. So, yes, in the abstract, but as we got to the finish line, we had an attorney general and deputy attorney general's office that were literally hiding behind Jack Smith, refusing to even talk about the misconduct that's infected their investigation, as well as some of these substantive defenses. So when we get to the, to the line we're at now, I, I suppose it wasn't much of a surprise. A, a serious uh, charge to be tried criminally at a federal level for a former president. What exactly is he being charged with? Lay out the seven counts for us. Well, we don't have the indictment yet, so I can't quite do that you know, precisely. I can tell you we have essentially a summary sheet as part of the summons to come to court. And it certainly mentions the Espionage Act, which is kind of a laugher here in terms of any sort of criminal intent on behalf of President Trump, as well as obstruction type counts and false statement type counts. Again, the language is not precise. We haven't seen the indictment yet, so I don't want to overplay the certainty of what those charges are going to look like. But I think that for a lot of people, uh, Americans, they've seen him be charged with a number of different things, a number of different investigations. Members of the media don't want to take it too lightly. Uh, but are there any national security implications here? Has there been any indication of, on this indictment, you know, summary, that there was some fear that there was espionage or a threat as a result of the former president having those documents? Now, I think the, way, the reason they dusted off the Espionage Act is because they know that the Presidential Records Act doesn't lead to criminal liability. There's no criminal statute, no criminal penalty associated with the Presidential Records Act, which guides the whole process of former presidents dealing with the archives people at National Archives and Records Administration. We've had president after president since Reagan, recent testimony from NARA confirmed this, turning in classified documents as part of the long standing and long process of uh, returning documents to the archivist that will be deemed presidential records. So, again, this was, you know, a president, you can, there, there's a public narrative that has been leaked out uh, consistently by DOJ to try to suggest there's obstruction to differentiate uh, President Trump from what's happened up in Delaware. And it's a false narrative because this is a president who literally turned over 15 boxes of materials to NARA in January of 2022, let them come to Mar-a-Lago and specifically said to the investigator who's now wrapped up in serious misconduct that all you have to do is ask, let us know whatever you want. And they wouldn't do that. They went quiet because they wanted to get under the tent and see what they could find at Mar-a-Lago. And they've succeeded to date, but we'll see how it plays out in court. We will certainly see. Jim Trustee, thank you for your time this morning. Sure, thank you. And thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.